Welcome to Nerds Talker. We're here at Failcon at the Hotel Kabuki in San Francisco. And you are? Uh, my name is Dan Olson. I'm CEO and founder of YourVersion.com. YourVersion is a real-time discovery engine. Um, it basically goes out and finds new relevant content that's tailored to your specific interests and then organizes it by content channel. News, blogs, web pages, Twitter, web page, um, videos, products. And you can scan it and see which stories you like. And then um, when you click on the stories, we make it really easy to bookmark and share those stories with your friends via email, Facebook, and Twitter. How does this differ from an RSS aggregator? So in an RSS aggregator, you have to basically subscribe. You have to know which sources you want to subscribe to and subscribe to them. And then, you know, it's interesting because a lot of, I've done a lot of focus groups and usability, and people that use like Google Reader say, at first they like it, but then they put in a lot of feeds and they get information overload because you can't really tailor it to the specific things that you want. You can tailor it to the sources you want. So we kind of cut out the middleman, which is the source. You just say, I'm interested in startups, or I'm interested in web development. And we go out and we find all the good sources and find all the good stories. The roadmap to go forward is basically we focus on delivering a really good individual user experience for discovering content related to your interests. The next phase will be actually getting into more social features. So we have one social feature now where um, you can share your public bookmarks. We give you your own URL yourversion.com slash profile slash your username and you can give that to your friends and they can see what your interests are and they can see what you're bookmarking and so we're going to extend those social features so that people that have similar interests can connect and share cool content that they find and collaborate on things. We also have a free iPhone app um, that uh, lets you do it on the go. We got a lot of feedback from people that they like to do it on the Caltrain. Uh, they have idle time, they want to browse their interests. So we'll be extending the iPhone app further too. Hi guys, Adolfo here to tell you about a great company called GoDaddy.com. Go to GoDaddy, register a domain name, get a hosting plan, get 10% off, and use the code STALKER1. That's the code STALKER1. You'll be helping us out, and you'll be helping yourself out. 10% off with the code STALKER1. We're based in Palo Alto. Um, the other thing we'll be doing is actually, I've been bootstrapping this for two years. No. So we haven't paid any cash for coding Congratulations. or salary. Good for you, man. Thank you. Uh, rent, any of that. We've run a very lean. Um, our server is pretty much our only cost. Wow. How big is the team? Uh, the team is uh, just got up to 12. Um, there's a couple of the new team members here. Mm -hmm. So we just hired like three new team members in the last week. Um, so we have a combination of full-time and part-time people running out of my house in Palo Alto. And so um, after boot driving for two years and winning TechCrunch 50, we're basically going to try to go out and raise a small round to basically convert some of the part-time people to full-time. The cool thing is, of all, is we haven't really, aside from events, done yeah. a lot of user acquisition, yeah. but we see a high repeat use rate. Nice. So we know that we've got a product that, and we're not emailing people saying, hey, come back to the site. They're just coming back every day of their own accord. What's the business model? What's the main business the model is basically, since we know exactly what your interests are, we can serve very relevant targeted ads. And so basically, we're going to serve AdSense. Google AdSense is the default. Nice. We can also do sponsored listings where, say, an advertiser wants to buy, be in the results for the word iPhone, they can pay to do that. Mm -hmm. I've also worked on some freemium products in the past before, you send it and Box.net. So I'm not opposed to you know, finding out what our power users are doing and, and charging a low $5 a month fee, mm -hmm. suppress the ads, give them some power features or higher usage limits, basically, something like that. Cool. We're also so, getting a lot of interest on the enterprise side. I, my background's consumer apps, so I was the head of product manager for Quicken right. and Friendster. But a lot of people, aside from using it for their personal interests, are using it at work to put in their company name, their product name, their competitor name. Mm. And quickly you can see what people are writing about in news, blogs, and tweets about well, If we want to find out more about you guys, where do we go and how do we get a hold of you? Yeah, just go to www.yourversion.com. Um, you can sign up. There's some marketing videos and demos. You can see what the product's like, but it's a really quick sign-up process. Type in your interests, and the next thing you know, you're getting cool new stories about it. And the iPhone app is available at the iTunes store. You just look for your version. It's free to download and try. Excellent. We like free. All right. Thanks for being on Nerds Talk. Thank you. Appreciate your time.